I'm playing to win, I'm playing to win, I'm playing to win. As I reach inside and dare to be great, I dance, I yell, and I celebrate. Hi, Annalise Brownlee here, bringing you another brand new incredible episode of Break These Before Breakfast. Welcome back. It's said that the element with the most flexibility within a system has the most power. So, how can we relate to this? Well, in business and in life. We're going to be faced with things such as changes in environment, difficulties that come up, and obstacles that get in our way. But, those who have flexibility when these things come up are the ones who have the most power and freedom in life. Why? Because when others get stuck, panic, or give up, they're the ones who are creating new paths, finding other alternatives, innovating and adapting to the environment that they're in at the time. This brings me to this week's distinction. Flexibility creates freedom. In this context, flexibility is defined as the capacity to deviate from or change a standard way of working. A quote that I love is, winners are flexible. They realize that there are other options and they're willing to test them. Have you ever noticed how some people just seem to flow through life so easily and effortlessly where others tend to struggle? It's not because they don't have difficulties, their lives certainly aren't perfect, but they are open and flexible to other approaches and other options. When things don't go as expected, such as changes in the marketplace or changes in the environment, oftentimes the natural human response is to get stuck or give up. But those who are able to push past this and let go of the expectations and attachments to how things have to be are the ones who are the most successful and free as opposed to those who lose out in the long run. If you look at most, if not all world leaders, they had trials, obstacles got in their way, but they got to where they got because of the ability to be flexible and to innovate, open up new options for themselves to get to where they wanted to go. If you find that your mindset gets rigid or you start closing yourself off from other ways of thinking, you think you have all the answers or you get stuck in certain patterns of doing things, you set yourself up to get knocked off course when something doesn't go the way that you expect it to. Doing this, you lose your innovation and in the long run, you lose your freedom. In order to get the most out of life, you have to open up your mind and, of course, set goals for yourself and make paths and strategies for how to get there, but keep your thinking flexible. Flexibility in life is a bit like martial arts. You have to be able to duck, weave, and dodge, but be in flow. Don't think of obstacles as enemies. Think of them more like a friendly sparring partner. If you're flexible, you'll have fun with it, but when you get stuck in your head and aren't in flow with it, you can get prepared to get knocked around a little bit. But the moment you let go of expectations and the attachments to how things need to be, you open yourself up to a whole new world of freedom and possibilities. So this week's world leader is the woman who's managed to stay on top of the music industry for almost 30 years by constantly changing and innovating herself, her style, and her sound remaining today as one of the most influential and famous women in music history. This week's world leader is Madonna. Madonna is one of, if not the, most versatile star in history. She's been a success as a singer, performer, actor, author, fashion designer, and businesswoman. Her mother died when she was very young, and as a result, she became very rebellious. But she balanced the side of her personality with a drive for perfectionism and high achievement. She was a straight-A student, cheerleader, and disciplined dancer who graduated from high school a semester early. Her hard work earned her the attentions of the University of Michigan, which offered her a full scholarship to their dance program. At the urging of her dance instructor, the budding star dropped out of college after two years of study to move to New York and further her dance career. Once in New York, Madonna held a handful of odd jobs. Later, she dated Dan Gilroy, who introduced her to the head of the Vaudeville Review in Paris, where she worked as a showgirl. During the trip, she fell in love with singing and performing. When she returned to the States, she formed several different bands over the next few years. In 1981, she decided to go solo. Her manager showed her how to navigate through the male-dominated world of the music business and helped to put together a band that accentuated her hip style. 
Madonna used her brash business style to get the recordings to a music producer, who helped her score a record deal. In 1982, her first single went on to become number one. Soon, girls all over the country were imitating Madonna's distinct sense of fashion. Her second album, Like a Virgin, hit number one on the Billboard chart and went platinum within a month. Throughout the next years, Madonna created uproar after uproar with controversial music videos, songs, stage performances, and the publishing of Sex, a softcore pornographic book featuring the pop star. Three days after its release, all 1.5 million copies were sold out worldwide, making it the most successful book of its kind ever released. By 1996, Madonna had proven her versatility as a star in both film and music. After the birth of her first two children, she reinvented herself as a more mature, family-friendly Madonna. In 2005, she became the artist with the most gold-certified singles in the U.S., beating the Beatles' long-standing record. Her professional life continues to boom. In January 2008, she was named the world's wealthiest female musician by Forbes magazine. She also holds the highest-grossing tour for a female artist to date. In her lifetime, Madonna has won 272 awards for her music, music videos, and films. She's been in 21 films and has had 17 top 10 albums in the U.S., seven of which have made it to number one. She's had eight albums go multi-platinum, and Madonna holds the record of 40 number one hot dance club hits in the U.S., the most for any female rock artist. She once said, I'm a survivor. I'm like a cockroach. You just can't get rid of me. So this week, my challenge to you is to take a look at some aspect of your business or your life that maybe needs to be updated. Where can you innovate and where can you find new options to get even better results at what you're doing? Thanks so much for watching and remember to tune in again each week for brand new episodes of Breakthroughs Before Breakfast.